Hello, welcome back. Now we get to study list comprehensions, one of my favorite topics in Python. A list comprehension is a way to make a list, a fancy list, all in one line, easy to read, easy to write. Usually, if it's not, don't do it. Here we are making a list of squares. You see that the syntax is square brackets, like a list, but there are no comma-separated elements in there. We have a pattern and a for loop. Each of the x's in that range will be squared, and it'll become an element of the result. So we have a pattern for that x in the iterable. You may not use the x in your list comprehension. Here. We have five zeros. The pattern is zero. And we have five empty lists. If you add an if to your list comprehension, called the filter, it looks like this. And we'll get every x in that range if this is true. So when we have zero, zero modulo two is zero, which is false. Therefore, zero did not go in there. But 1 modulo 2 is 1, which is true, and so 1 is in there. In fact, that gave us a list of odds. Your pattern can be anything. Here I'm making it a tuple. For each of the odds, I'm getting the odd and the square of the odd in a tuple. You can nest for loops in your list comprehension. Here we have one sequence, range from 1 through 4, and we call it 4. I'm looking at it. And then the by tens are these. So, my list comprehension, the pattern is x plus y for each x in 4 and each y in tens. What it does is it holds on to the first x and then it spins through all the y's as if this is the inner loop. x is called the invariant loop because it doesn't vary as much as the inner loop. So that gave us these cross sums where the 1 held still while we spun through these four. There they are, etc. You can call a function for your pattern. Here we have the string version for each of the x's in the range from 0 to 13, which doesn't include 13. There they are. That's very useful. OK, I think you get it. Why don't you try some practice? It's mighty fun. In fact, it's so fun that I can't help myself, and there's a lot of practice. Do what you want until you feel like you've got the concept and you're ready to move on and learn something else.